You are about to see a short uh, this cast on Newton's third law of motion. I write down the third law, just like that, so we don't forget. Um, commonly, you hear people say, uh, for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. The problem with that is, it, it suggests that the action is the cause and the reaction is an effect. Whereas, in fact, in fact there is no difference between the two. They're, they're quite symmetric. A better way to say it is if two bodies, A and B, they exert a force on each other, for example, in a collision, um, the force exerted by A on, on B is equal and opposite to the force exerted by B on A. And what I'm going to do is a really simple diagram here. That's supposed to be a table. This is a book, a nice big book like this. And this is me. Now, this is Tom, and I'm going to draw my hand. I know it doesn't look much like a hand, it's more like a foot, but that's the best you're going to get. Right. Book, table, Tom. Now, I'm going to exert a force on the book, Tom on the book. According to Newton's third law, the book exerts an equal opposite force on Tom. And we put a minus sign there to show the equal, that opposite direction. Now, that are equal and opposite. So the force is by Tom on the book equals the force is over by the book on Tom. And a lot of students can, can quote this quite easily. Uh, but unfortunately, the understanding is not necessarily all that good. For example, this uh, have a scenario where I am pushing the book and the book doesn't move. And you may say, well, the force is added by me on the book and the force is added by the book and me are equal and opposite, Newton's third law, which results in a zero resultant force, mm. which then results for Newton's first law that a stationary body will remain stationary. Now, if you agree with those statements and that conclusion, then unfortunately you haven't understood the third law. What I'm going to do now is to slightly redraw, redraw this diagram and um, I'm going to take out I'm going to take out this bit. There we go. Take out that bit. I'm going to take actually I'm going to take out my hand as well. I'm going to take it all out for now. And now I'm going to redraw it. I'm going to draw a free body diagram. Don't be frightened by this. All it means is there's the book. I'm going to draw every force on it. Here's one of them. Here's the force exerted by the table on the book upwards, the normal force. And of course, there's the force exerted by the Earth, the gravitational force on the book downwards. These two forces draw nicely like that. Unfortunately, I'm not interested in them because I'm only interested in horizontal motion, but I included them for the sake of completeness. Here's the force exerted by Tom on the book. Me again, I'm not drawing my hand. What is that? Force opposing my pushing? Of course, friction. Ah, oh, it's on the table. If the book doesn't move, it means the force exerted by Tom on the book is equal in magnitude to the force exerted by friction on the book. So the resultant force on the book by me and the force exerted by friction on the book are equal and opposite. Because they're equal and opposite, they cancel. So the zero result in false, that means in Newton's first law, very simply, that stationary book stays stationary. Did you notice I didn't mention that at all? And very simply, the reason I didn't mention that is because it's the force exerted by the book on Tom. It's not the force exerted on the book, because it's the only forces we should consider, it's a force exerted by the book, and so for the purpose of the motion here, it's completely irrelevant. Listen to me really carefully. Action and reaction pair do not cancel because they're not applied to the same body. The only time they cancel is when they apply to the same body. Look at this N in NG. What's the resultant force on the book in the vertical direction? Well, it's zero. It has to be because it's not moving in the vertical direction. It's stationary. And that means that mg equals minus n. Now, is that Newton's first law? Or is that Newton's third law? If you say the third law, please look at the fist cast again. 
If you say, oh, they're simply Newton's first law, because both forces are acting on the same body. 